Scotland representative at the Venice Biennale is the former Turner Prize winner Steve McQueen, who's made an eerie two-screen installation. Steve is very excited to be here. And I'm um, very proud to represent Britain. I mean, you know, I, I'm sorry, I'm not a nationalist far from it, but, you know, I just think, you know, we, we, we live in a great country where, you know, people from all different areas of the world are, you know, around, and we see it as normal, we embrace it. It's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm very proud. I mean, there's no other place, is there, really? First of all, uh, congratulations. I mean, I really, I really found the film very magical, fascinating as well. When did you actually make it? Because uh, the gardens look unfamiliar. Yeah, um, made it in the winter, earlier uh, this year. Um, and it was just one of those occasions where, um, in fact, it wasn't planning for about... I mean, I, again, it's one of these things where sort of has, has its seed way back in my, in, my, in my mind, about five years ago, in fact. But th I didn't have location. I had sort of idea, but I didn't have location. And being here in uh, 2006, I think, for Rob Storr's uh, previous... Um, Venice Biennial, where they were, there was a conference, and now when I was here, I thought this is the location. So it was a situation where, if I ever get the opportunity, I knew what I would kind of wanted to do. Yeah, that's quite uh, surprising because the piece looks so much as if it's about these spaces we're in, the actual Biennale. It is about the yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's a combination. I mean, it's one of those things where it's life which happens other than what we have here right now. Um, just one of those things where it's not about the contrast or the parallels. It's more about another world, another setting in the same uh, vicinity, really. My reading of it was uh, that it's a film also about, about nature um, and yeah. the way that kind of nature and, and the human presence coexist. Coexist or, in fact, uh, is ignored because I imagine in the, in the film, in the, in the piece, I imagine a lot of people haven't seen those creatures before and they've been coming here for years and years and years. So it's one of those things where the coexistence that you said, correct, but at the same time, one could be ignored and it's, it's a, a parallel, but at the same time, it's sort of uh, you, one could be invisible at the same time. Tell me something about the process of making it, because obviously there are shots there you don't just come across. A lot of them you do, in fact. You, well, the, the, I mean, it's, it's a case of research. I, I was here for um, last year for a long, long time. I, I was here, took photographs. Then I came with my cinematographer, we took photographs, talked, talked, talked. Did a lot of research on the participants in the film, which you've seen, of course, Greyhounds which have been in particular in Venetian art since like the 17th century. So I was interested in the, I was interested in dogs being this kind of skeleton -y kind of uh, character, but actually the history of them within the context of art. But also, these dogs are meant to be dead in this movie because actually they're salvaged. They're from the they're, they're, they're gray, they're Greyhound salvage situation here in, in Italy. You know, most of those dogs are from um, Ireland and, and, and Spain. So it's just one of those things where, you know, layer after layer after layer after layer, things just happen. And, and then when they become the right weight, Okay, let's go with it. Let's just let's go. I see. So the dogs aren't actually uh, things that you found here. You, you you imported them. No, no, we imported them. Again, it, it's 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 a reality. But then again, it's it's it, it, it's 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 a fairy tale in a kind of way. And, or, or, you know, how reality and sort of um, another kind of reality can be imposed on top of a reality. Because that's the reality. But you can impose another kind of reality onto that. So in some ways, it's 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 not. A, it's not, uh, in a way, documentary, and it's not necessarily uh, fiction. Um, it's, I don't know, you, you, know, you play around with stuff. My final reading of the film was that it's a film about beauty, the way beauty survives. Beauty is difficult. It only it goes so far on screen, you see. You have to project, the viewer has to project your own relationship to what you see. Art is just a sort of a mechanism, for me at least, to sort of um, impose itself onto the viewer in order for them to sort of have bigger thoughts than the actual piece. But without that piece, you know, you wouldn't be able to, get, you, you, you wouldn't think of it. Art is there to sort of almost like jolt you, to push you, to, to trigger things, thoughts, ideas, that's it. I mean, if you could do that, then you're in business, isn't you?